Lord, open my lips. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. indeed. Alleluia. is risen indeed. Alleluia. Hymn 666.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 10th chapter. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice, so there will be one flock, one shepherd. O Lord, have mercy on us. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. The shepherd was struck, and the sheep were scattered. The Lord of glory was taken and crucified by sinful men. The shepherd entered the valley of the shadow of death. He was wrapped in a shroud, buried in the tomb, and the stone rolled across the opening. And the sheep, all of them, every single one, stumbled and fell. Fear and trembling seized them, mourning and weeping consumed them. Denial, despair, and doubt made a home in their hard hearts. Unbelief filled them up, and it spilled off their lips. The wolf had come, and he terrorized the little flock. The sheep ran for their lives. That's the only thing they knew to do. They hid themselves away. They locked the door. They could not. They would not. They did not believe. And there they are found three days later. Mary weeping at the tomb. Cleopas and the other disciple walking despondently to Emmaus. The ten locked up in the upper room. And Jesus appeared to all of them and began gathering them back to himself. Good Shepherd Sunday is all about Easter. And so the Good Shepherd laid down his life and took it back up again. He rose from the dead and he seeks those who were lost. He calls to them, where are you? He seeks them out. He comes to them. He takes them up. He restores them to his fold and he blesses them. He comes to them and he breathes into them the breath of life. And he raises them from the dust of their fear and their shame and their terror. They know his voice and they are comforted by it. He calls his sheep by name, Mary, Peter. He knows his own and his own know him. His holy wounds are their very rod and staff. Those glorious wounds comfort them and reassure them in their distress. I ask you, have wounds in the history of the world ever comforted anyone except at the resurrection of Jesus? He calls them, even Peter, calls them to his side, 
He gathers the scattered. He restores their souls. He brings them out of the valley of the shadow of death. He removes the pall that had overhung them. And he steadies them for the task that lays ahead of them. He is sending them out to preach this gospel to every creature. And he has yet to gather Paul to reach out his staff and pull him in that he may preach too to the Gentiles, to all the world. For there are others that must be sought out. Jesus is the good shepherd. He knows his own and his own know him. He knows you. He knows you in your day-to-day grind, in your strife, in your illnesses, in your despair. He knows your mourning and your weeping. He knows your loneliness, your doubt, your fear, and he knows your unbelief. He knows that you have sinned and that you are pressed with guilt and shame. Jesus knows his sheep and he knows their need. We often go about as if Christ had not risen from the dead, but he is always seeking us out. He knows the weakness of his sheep. He is determined, above all, to love us. So he comes for you, bringing joy and gladness. He brings strength for your arm, steadiness for your knees, courage, courage for your hearts. Christ is risen and brings pleasure eternal. Your shepherd seeks you out, lifts you out of your pit, puts you on his shoulders, buries you back to his one flock. Your sins are forgiven by his all-availing sacrifice. Death has no hold on you. The devil may rage, but he has become nothing. Christ is risen from the dead. All fear, all trembling, all doubt is taken up into his holy wounds, and he simply gives life to you in return. Jesus restored his tender sheep to his fold. By their preaching and the preaching of so many others since then, more sheep have been brought in and more will be brought in. And those sheep too love his voice, his living voice, and listen to his word of joy and comfort. We are his people, we sing, the sheep of his pasture. Here there is the beautiful oneness of the Holy Christian Church, one flock under one shepherd, having a unity of doctrine, a unity of mission, and a unity of affection for each other. Here we are, one flock under one shepherd, one flock rescued, restored, and forgiven, washed in the water and the blood which flow from his side, fed with living bread by the still waters of his green pasture, He bore your sins in his own body on the tree that you might die to sin and live to righteousness. I am the good shepherd, he says. And in saying that, he reveals himself in a fuller way than Moses ever knew him. Jesus is not only known as the great I am, but more, he says, I am the good shepherd. He unfolds who he is by saying that, He comforts us with his self-revelation. He makes himself known to us that we might love him and receive good and eternal gifts from his shed blood and the sacrifice for our sins. For you were like sheep going astray, but now have returned to the shepherd and bishop of your souls. What beautiful words. Jesus knows you. That's a good thing. And you know him, and you love his voice. And remember what Peter wrote. Peter, who denied him three times and was restored three times, and all his life, I'm sure, echoed in the back of his mind. That happened. When the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christ is risen.
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, through the humiliation of your Son, you raised up the fallen world. Grant to your faithful people, rescued from the peril of everlasting death, perpetual gladness and eternal joys. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, from your hand we receive all good gifts, and by your grace we are guarded from all evil. Be with all in need of healing, including Dan. Grant us your Holy Spirit, that acknowledging with our whole heart your boundless goodness, we may now and evermore thank and praise you for your loving kindness and tender mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. For the next couple days, the Created Male and Female Conference will be in the building uh, listening to Dave and Bev and, and discussing uh, issues in, in today's world. We welcome you and pray that your time here is beneficial and blessed by God. Christ is risen.